Thanks hey. for tuning in. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome back. So, uh, it's a fresh week here at the shop. Plenty of Mustangs, some new faces, and some, well, some new faces and some really ugly ones, but nevertheless. Um, what do we have here? We got a 2016 Shelby GT 350R. It is a virgin car, has a thousand miles on her. Uh, customer did the break-in drive on it, picked it up literally about a week ago. And what's it in for? Our PK Stage 1 Plus package. This one's gonna be getting a Whipple Gen 5 3 liter. He's new, it's okay. He's new. Well, he's Chad. Yo. Shut up. <laughs> uh, this one's gonna be getting a Whipple Gen 5 blower with Ballinger oil pump gear and crank sprocket, ARP harmonic balance bolt, new gaskets, uh, MMR chain guide tensioners, the primary tensioners, and uh, full new fluids, new coolant, Amzo 5W50 and a new filter. Uh, it's also going to be getting some custom tuning uh, because we want to maximize the power potential for this vehicle. So customers super happy about this. We actually have something special after this car is done for him. He's going to be bringing us something from the 60s and it's a Mustang. And that's going to be a super fun project. So we're looking forward to the future with this client. But obviously, first thing first, we're letting it cool down so we can do a teardown. Jeff's 07 GT500 motor got dropped off at Modular Motorsports today. They'll be getting a teardown done on the car, uh, on the motor, and then we're actually gonna go ahead and wait to hear from them. We suspect either it's a bad bearing and or a bad uh, ringland that's gone bad on that, so he was complaining about some, some sounds. I mean, nevertheless, motor has 98,000 miles on it. He does drive it hard, so uh, we're gonna get that all taken care of, and then once it comes back, we're gonna be pairing that with a 3.2 liter uh, Candy Bell Mammoth supercharger some bmr goodies underneath the car and it's going to be ready to go home but it is going to be a bit of a long-term project uh, over here we have our customers ford mustang got a set of eibach sportline lowering springs done uh, everything is actually checked out we're just finalizing the factory torque specs on the car and she's going to be ready to go home and then juan is back with his s197 if you guys uh, remember our g posts we did our stage one plus package on this car it features a really really nice Paxton 2200 SL unit powder coated in black that's a, a standard option well not a standard but an aftermarket option you can get from Paxton uh, we did oil pump gears on this car it is a pump gas tuned car it does have uh, all the little bells and whistles we needed nice little daily driver and it is a six-speed manual it's in for its 2500 mile break-in right now so Ernie is about to drain the oil out of the head unit we're gonna get fresh fluids in her and then she's gonna be ready to go home so realistically this car being on a 383 upper pulley and on pump gas it's making about 600 uh, we, I'm gonna say probably like 595 600 wheel on there the 350R it's gonna be a pump gas car it's not gonna be on E85 uh, it's not gonna have any of the special stuff to it it's just gonna be tuned and literally just a blower put on there um, that one is a little bit more tough to say but it is a higher compression motor so I would say Mm, that's a tough one. Well, everyone talks about crank, and we want to talk about wheel horsepower. So, I would say probably right around 700 on that one. Uh, Jeff's 500, once it's done, should make about 800. Um, once we're set and done with it, it's nothing crazy. So, once again, it's going to be a nice like weekend driver. Uh, but I would say we're obviously building the motor for more but probably, no, I'll take it back, not 800. Probably around the 700 mark on that car too. Uh, because it's not gonna be making, it's not on E85, it's on pump gas. You can tell me I'm screwing the pooch by saying 700, I don't care. I'm gonna estimate 700 on the car. And that's NA, so no one cares about that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got this S550, this Gen 3 in today. We did some Eibach Sport lines on it. Just finishing up by torquing down the top of the strut and this thing is good to go usually takes a few days for the you know the springs to fully settle in so the stance you see right now is not the finished product but it's been a couple days time should be good to go get the job mustang let's go yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Lost a wonderful joy. Silverado. You changed this. Yeah. They don't come as a Shine. That was a concept truck. That was gonna be super badass if they ever brought it out. Kind of gonna base at least exterior off this build up. I mean, the the concept of how the the Shine was supposed to be was like super sick, like carbon fiber, hardcore badass. They had the ZR1 brakes on there, the carbon ceramics, like super badass, like nuts. And then Chevy's like, scrap that shit. We're just gonna get a regular truck put together and they kind of fucked it up. I, I think they would have done great if they actually did it. But nevertheless, it's a, it's a Weld Ventura 6 drag application uh, for the Silverado setup. So we're gonna be putting that on. Uh, he got a full package, so wheels, tires, sensors, they got mounted, they got balanced. The B-lock rings got installed and spec. And then um, Elliot's drift stang is back. We're uh, rerouting some brake lines and getting a few things kind of just cleaned up for him because his front uh, extreme steering angle is so fucking extreme. It, it's, su it's such a, like a retardedly crazy steering angle that uh, the brake lines were getting tugged on. So those have to get redone again. So that's being redone. And uh, while, you know, I put these wheels on, you can see how amazing of body work Elliot did on this front fender flares. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're gonna put the rears on. The rears are what I'm excited for. <sighs> get the slippers, get the slippers, get the slippers, dog. <laughs> yeah. This is how you know you're on E85. When you have drugs in the bed of your truck or in the back of your car or running passenger because you're driving somewhere and you're not sure where the next fucking E85 station would get E is. Like in the Mustang world, you need 30% more fuel when you're on E85, but the E85 is just better fuel than pump gas. 91 pump gas, like 93, if you have really good 93, in the Mustang world and you're doing some crazy setups, which obviously California doesn't have 93 to my knowledge, you can make some decent good power. But when you go up to E85, that's the game changer, like some good fuel, C16, E85, MS109, um, there's one recently, there's a, there's a really well-known um, tuner uh, that we, we know of named Alex. He's in the Mustang world. And he talks about one called FTW. I haven't heard of it before until he's told me. Well, he didn't tell me directly, but he told like, you know, his audience. It's called FTW. And apparently it's like some really good shit. And you can't get your hands on it now. So we stick with pump gas E85 from Pearson. Thank you, Pearson. Dude, we were so happy when that gas station opened up and we found out I had E85. I went over there the first day. I took my E85 tester, I tested it. I was like, literally like checking, like if it was drugs and stuff, I was like, <laughs> put it over there, waited. I checked, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's fucking E85, like sweet. I feel like I'm on like an MTV show. Paul's 13 years old and lives in Los Angeles and likes to eat the